Hi, I'm Dick Simmons from the popular web series, Red vs. Blue. And I'm Doc. And today, we'll be talking about a holiday that really should be talked about more. That's right. It might not be Christmas or National Thank Your Mailman Day, but we believe it's overdue for some recognition. For being the dumbest and most pointless day in the history of days. Well, that's a little harsh. If there were a single day on the calendar that we could replace with National Slam Your Head Into The Door Day, it would be this one. Jeez, what do you have against Labor Day? Oh, you think I'm talking about Labor Day, do you? Well, April Fool's! What the what? This PSA is about April Fool's Day and how it should be wiped from the face of the earth. Why? Because it sucks, Doc. And no one wants to talk about it because they're afraid of looking dumb. Well, I for one am sick of living in fear. Oh, come on. April Fool's Day can be fun. Did you know it was started in the middle of the Great Depression when morale was so low that school teachers had to come up with a day just for jokes and pranks? You didn't? That's because that's not true. We just lied to you. What? That's not real? Nope. I changed the teleprompter. April Fools! See, that's how dumb this holiday is. It was really some shit about how they changed some calendar, but not everyone got the memo, so no one showed up for work the next day. Great prank, guys. No notes. Real funny. There's more to a prank than just lying! No, there isn't. That's literally it. Look. Hi, my name is Captain Dick Doinkins, and this is my co-host, Rock. April Fools! No, it's not! You see, it's just nonsense. Oh, come on! Not all the jokes are that lazy. Do you remember what Sarge did last year? Hey, Griff, there's a package here for you. Something about a giant toucan made of cheese. It's here? The cardboard is here? Whoa! Ow! Ha! April Fool's, you dirtbag! And the year before that? Hey, Donut, that new reality show about chefs competing in a day to random model is on. <gasps> I thought Beefcake Bolognese Island didn't come back till Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Get pranked. And the year before... Doc, that guy you performed CPR on is here to thank you for saving his life. Oh, wow. I thought he died on the sea. Oh. Yeah, I remember. And the internet has only made things even more tiring. Do you know what's worse than your dumb friends thinking they're funny? Dumb brands thinking they're funny. Here's an overused meme. Here's a fake trailer for a show or product we all want. Wow, you changed your name on Twitter? How funny and original. This joke totally wasn't conceived at a corporate meeting between six different departments, making sure it's as inoffensive and shareable as possible with the sole purpose of selling you wet wipes. That does sound a little exhausting. Fake news is already a problem during the rest of the year. Why do we have an entire day dedicated to it? It's just gaslighting the holiday. And think if the world actually does end on April 1st. Then we'd really be in a bind. Exactly. So next April, we need to take a stand against April Fool's Day. But wait. How can I be sure this isn't an elaborate setup for an April Fool's prank? Like we're all gonna put our guard down, and then you're gonna swoop in and get us! And that's the problem, Doc. Everyone is afraid to look like a fool, so every year we all look like fools. Yeah, I'm just not buying it. What is there to buy? There's no prank here. I just want to end this stupid holiday. Yeah, okay. Nice try, Simmons. I'll stick with locking myself in my bunk and shutting off the internet like every year. No, come on! There's no prank, I swear, please! Ugh, damn it. I told you he wouldn't fall for it. Dang! Well, somebody's gonna be walking across this totally solid ground one way or another. <sighs> but get in the hole or you're fired. <sighs> yes, sir. Thank you for watching this episode of Red vs. Blue. If you want to check out more, go to Rooster Teeth. It's an app, it's a website, it's a lot of stuff.